This is the first video in the causation series. In this video, we'll look at one kind of an alternative theory to explain a correlation, reverse causation. There was a New York Times article a while back that focused on wives earning more than their husbands and the effects on those husbands. The article reported the results from a study that uh, Kristen Springer, a sociologist at Rutgers, has found that among men in their 50s, having a wife who earns more money is associated with poorer health. The article even reported the magnitude of the relationship that the study had found. Among the highest earning couples in her study, a husband who earns less than his wife is 60% less likely to be in good health compared with men who earn more than their wives. This is a piece of empirical evidence. It's a correlation between two variables. So this drawing represents that empirical evidence. The unit of analysis, the who or what the variables are about, that's men in their 50s. So this is the health of the husband, the man in his 50s. And this is whether his wife earns more than he does. The dotted line shows that there's a correlation between those variables. That's what the study found. And the negative sign shows that it's a negative relationship. Wife earning more than her husband means that husband's health is lower. But the big question for us, and also that the Times article was interested in, is does this correlation that the study found mean that there's a causal effect? Meaning that does a wife earning more than her husband cause his health to be worse? Well, one initial clue to causation is a plausible mechanism. And actually, there is one in this case. Perhaps if a wife earns more than her husband, it hurts his pride as a result. So there's a causal relationship from the wife earning more that trickles through into his pride. And perhaps husband's pride like so many psychological variables can affect his health. So lower husband pride, lower husband health. This causal relationship um, explained by this mechanism is consistent with the evidence. But are there other theories that are also consistent with the evidence? The thing is people often jump from correlation evidence to assume a causal theory. So they hear that men whose wives earn more have worse health, which is a correlation, and they jump to the assumption that that means that the wives earning more is what causes the husband's worst health. So my goal for you, for all my students, for all my textbook readers, is that always for the rest of your life, whenever you hear a correlation and you hear someone just jumped to an assumed causation, you'll think, wait, what are some alternative theories? What are theories that are consistent with the evidence, but that contradict the assumed causation? So in this case, that would mean wives earning more does not cause worse health for the husband, and there would be no hours from wives earning more to worse health. So we're gonna look at a particular type, in this case, reverse causation. I'll think about it. If the man's health is not very good, if his health is bad, that can hurt the amount that he earns or his ability to work at all, and maybe he will earn less. And if the husband is learning less and the wife's earnings just stay the same, then chances are that she will earn more than he will. So if his earnings go down, Relatively speaking, her earnings are higher. It increases the likelihood. So we get this negative correlation simply by lower husband health, lower husband earnings, higher wife earnings relative to husband. That is consistent with the evidence. But there are more effects 
from husband's health. So if the husband's health is poor and he's not earning very much, that increases the couple's financial need. And that's going to cause the wife to work more, maybe more hours, maybe a more serious job. And that'll increase her earnings, which also means, again, it'll be more likely that she earns more than her husband. So this is another reverse causation going through husband's earnings. From the husband's health, if his health is bad, his earnings are low. It increases the financial need. It increases the wife work, wife's work effort, increases her earnings, increases her earnings relative to his. So this is just a more involved form of why we get from higher, uh, from lower husband earnings to more likely the wife earns more than the husband. To make the picture prettier, I'm just going to leave this part for now. So now we want to go to the checklist for this alternative theory. The first question is, does the alternative theory um, predict the actual evidence. We're not very interested in theories that contradict our evidence, of course. So now we want to check that our theory is consistent with the evidence. After all, we don't want a theory that's inconsistent with the evidence. So let's try. Higher husband health, higher husband earnings, less likely wife earns more than husband. This goes up, this goes down you predicted a negative relationship. Or the other way around. Worse husband health, lower husband earnings, more likely wife earns more than husband. Again, the two variables are in the opposite direction, a negative relationship. So, we know that the first item on our checklist, that our theory is consistent with the alternative evidence, check, we got that. The second thing we're looking for as an alternative theory is that it is an alternative so that the causation isn't running from wife earns more than husband to husband health but that it's going in another direction so in fact there are no arrows running from this variable over to this variable instead the arrows run from husband health to husband earnings to wife earns more than husband so basically, we know that the idea that the causation runs that way, no, not true. We've got the second item on our checklist. This alternative theory contradicts the presumed causation. So for the alternative theory, we want it to be consistent with the correlational evidence, contradict the assumed causation. So in this case, again, wives earning more than the husband did not cause the husband's worse health. There were no hours running from wives earning more to worse health. This is a reverse causation type of alternative uh, theory. The actual causation runs from the supposed dependent variable, in this case, the man's health, to the supposed independent variable, the wife's uh, earnings being higher. In the next video, we'll learn about a different type of alternative theory. Of course, in the real world, things can always be more complicated. It's not either or. It's not that the wife earning more than her husband affects her husband's health or that the husband's health affects whether the wife earns more than the husband. They both could be true. And in later videos, we'll talk about bias in estimates. When you're interested in one causal relationship, but it's not the only one going on. And you have to figure out how to get an unbiased estimate of that. But the first step towards that is learning how to think about these alternative theories. Thinking about alternative theories is going to help tell you what to measure and how to analyze your data to get at true unbiased causal effects.